Oh, as a kid, I don't when know. I, yeah, no, like when I was a kid, like we probably was like, I think we was like maybe eight, nine. But uh, we all snuck in Defermy Pool. Like, you know, Defermy in West Oakland, Defermy Park, they got a pool and shit. So we had all snuck in Defermy Pool at nighttime. And uh, rest in peace, my nigga AW, my nigga Aaron drowned. Damn, Damn for real? Hey, that's all the way man. was like, that's that was like shit. no. That was that was the second time I experienced death. Well, he, the first he didn't time know I how to swim, or it just yeah, he didn't know how to swim. Oh, that's the manga, first time right? I experienced death was when uh my older brother passed away when I was five years old. He swallowed some uh, cocaine in the high speed chase, but that was mm -hmm. the first time I experienced death. Yeah. And then my second time experiencing death was when we snuck in the pool and my homie died. Like I'm sorry he was to hear like that, my bro. friend. That's he was. I think, I think AW was like eleven. I think I was like eight, he was like 11. I was gonna ask him, like, that's not who that is on your chain right nah, there. No, right? no, yeah. no, this is my little brother. He he just passed, he he just passed uh, January 4th of this year. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So you linking up with Richie Rich, bro, how did that come about? With Rich, it was like, um, have you heard of 415? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you know. Brody Loke and 415, right? Yeah, yeah shout yeah, out yeah. to Brody Loke. Yeah. Brody Loke, uh, you know what I'm saying? He used to live in Cypress Village, where we from. Oh, okay. Yeah, but um, so DJ Duro, mm -hmm. who put 4-1, well, he didn't put 4-1-5 together, but he was the producer mm -hmm. from 4-1-5. And uh, him and my, my best friend, who I said passed away, I mean, my older brother, who I said passed away, when yeah. I was, him and DJ Duro was best friends. Oh, okay. So I had caught a dope case when I was 16. I had a curfew, so I had to go home. I had to go in the house hella early because my PO would be tripping. Right. You know what I'm saying so. I already wanted to get into the rap anyway, so I had seen Duro one day outside. Of, uh, I seen Duro one day on the corner of uh, Two Six in West Oakland, Two Six in Market. I was on lunchtime at school because I went to McClimans, yeah. so I seen Duro at the store on Two Six, and uh, I'm like, uh, I've been writing this shit, like I'm trying to get into this rap shit, like DJ, like this one, this one Duro had just, um, he had just. Uh, left No Limit and was starting his own company because DJ Durrell mm -hmm. has signed with No Limit because um, Steady Mobbing was his group. Yeah, mm -hmm. from Oakland. When Bath yeah, yeah. was in Bath there, Bath right? and yeah. Crooked Eye. Yeah. Steady Mobbing was his group. So when he signed Steady Mobbing to No Limit, he signed to No, he signed to no Limit too as a producer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's how uh, he produced that shit on Snoop. Oh, album Snoop for no Limit. Yeah. Steady, Steady Mobbing on the beat. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was classic shit. That was on the Dogfather, right? No, um... Uh, oh, no, The Game Is To Be Sold. The Game Is To Be Sold, I can be told. Yeah. G-A-M-E, that's, that's my thing. thing. Yeah. And there ain't no rules when you win this game. Yeah, you know I was a DJ that's girl. Right? That, was, that was slap. That was definitely my favorite song off that album. So then, um... So I seen Daryl. I'm like, I'm trying to rap. Woo, woo, woo. Like, he like, come to my house. So I came to my... I, I went to his house after school one day. Me and my, uh, me and my cousin Sid, rest in peace, he passed away too. So me and Sid, we walk to Daryl house from Mac. We walk all the way, all the way through the bottom. We smoking, you know what I'm saying? We walk all the way through the bottom. We get there, I, I, I lose my, my, my notebook. Damn. I got a whole notebook, nigga, full of raps, nigga. I'm, this my shot, nigga. I'm like, ooh, mm. nigga, I'm finna go and rap all this so shit crazy. to Daryl. Like, he gotta fuck with me. That's cold, bro. bro. I, I get all the way to Daryl house, bro. I check my backpack. I, I think I had it right here. I check, but anyway, I don't got the book. Me and Sid, nigga, we backtrack all the way to Mac, nigga. Damn. Don't find the book. So I never make it to Daryl house that day. So I never make it that day. 
So I ain't see Daryl again till like two weeks later. I seen him again because. Uh, was he hot at you? You didn't show up? Nah, nah. He, <laughs> he wasn't tripping. Nah, nah, that nigga was busy. Anyway. Right, right, right. You know I'm saying, like, I seen him again because his mom stayed in Cyprus. Oh, okay. So I seen him coming from his mom's house. And I'm like, DJ, like, I was on my way. Whoop, whoop. Like, I lost my book, bud. He, like, all right, like, um, come today. Like, you don't need a book or whatever. Like, right. just, mm-hmm. just, just, come just come hang out. Right, yeah, right. come by. So, yeah, but anyway, so I still went and bought me a book. So I went there. And uh, we just was in there fucking around. He playing hella beats. I'm in there writing to the beats. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker's coming over. Motherfucker's leaving. Like, Crooked Eye was... Crooked Eye was coming over. Like, uh, he had his group, the Block Monsters. Like, they used to be in there recording this shit. So, anyway, long story short, this go on for like a year. So, I'm just... You feel me? I'm, 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 I'm going to Daryl House every right, day right, right. after school. Right. Like, because I'm on probation. Right. I told my probation officer what I was doing. So instead of he'll let me go to the library or he'll let me go to the studio. Uh, period. The yeah, like I had to have, yeah, sure. like, I had to have Daryl talk to him and all type right, of shit. Right. Like, you feel me? So that's chair, though. That's player. Anyway, to make school. a long story short, I'm going to that nigga house every day. And I'm just writing, 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 writing. I ain't recording. I ain't recording. A year go by, I don't really record. I'm just writing, writing, writing. I do one song. Rich come over. You know him and Rich still hella cool, cause Daryl always producing for Rich. Daryl produced a lot of sh- a lot of that uh a lot of that music on uh Richie Rich album Half mm-hmm. Thing. Mm-hmm. And he did some of that shit on um uh, the album Rich did with Def Jam. Right. But they still had a great relationship from being in the group, four and five right. together. So nigga, it was like the first time Rich came over. Like I had never met Rich. Like that was like the first time Rich came over. Nigga, Daryl was in there playing that song I did. I never forget it. It's called What You Moving. What you doing, girl? What you moving, girl? Who you screwing? I'm trying to be screwing you. Uh. Like it was a simple little young shit. It was dope though. And uh shit, I don't know. Rich liked it that shit. Nigga, and he told Daryl, like, uh, bring the little nigga to the uh bring the little nigga to the grill. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was fucking with you after that one. He was like, yeah, I went to the grill. I went to the grill, nigga, for that one day, nigga, and it was, nigga, it was, it was cookies after that. It was history, nigga. It was cookies. That's dope, bro. That's peas. What are you, Richie Rich fucking with you? Yeah, I think. Come on, bro. It was like it was meant. That was meant. That was like this and a half. Like those those songs that I did on um Rich album, Duro did those. Rich got those beats from Duro because Rich, he liked how I sounded over Duro beats. So okay. he got those beats specifically for me to rap on for his album. But he got them specifically from Duro because how he heard the shit I was doing with Duro. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. And he wanted that same vibe. Right. That's dope. Duro right. did all three beats that I did for Rich. He did all three beats. That's tight. You still got a solid relationship with Duro? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's dope. And Rich. Mm-hmm. And that's we dope. love them niggas to death. Right, right. That that party jumper song you you did with the Jack is that like I'm well duh happened after uh, Never Blink or yeah, no like after like after Never Blink nigga we just we we was just, like it was like yeah, you know wrong. you know Jack was Jack was a, a a a real leader like teacher type of nigga because he he was very humble and he never wanted nothing from nobody like all he he just he just wanted to see niggas win and gave niggas right. straight game so right, after right. that. Being Jack, like we always was hella cool. You know what what I'm was saying? your favorite memory with the Jack? Uh, on one of his birthdays, uh, my bra cooked for him when I was uh, when I was living in the Dubs. When I was with my little bra, my bra and my mama cooked for him on one of his birthdays. He came over and ate with us and shit. That's what's so, right. I was in there roasting each other all this yeah, shit. Yeah, like that was my nigga, nigga. Right, like right, you feel right. me? Like Jack, me and Jack was hella cool. Jack. What's your favorite saying, song like, you made? Like, you got a favorite song you ever made? My favorite song is, girl, girl, you gonna get, get on out, out there. there. <laughs> I used to call that motherfucker and request that motherfucker on the radio before I even met that nigga. That's crazy. That's, yeah, that, that's ultimate blap right there. You're like, that's crazy. You feel yeah. me? Like, and it all just started because you you didn't have no weed. You feel me? That was, that's <laughs> no, cr- you but like I said, I knew who he yeah, was at yeah, the right? He didn't know who I was. I'm like, that's the 
get out there, nigga. That's a great fucking story, though. That's plenty. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the go and get out there, nigga. When you made Gas Nation, was that your first album you made? I recorded on behalf of the streets yeah, for the streets. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it didn't come out first. Oh, but it was okay. the first album I recorded. Like, Early Morning Shift came out first. I recorded that second. And then Real World came out after that. Like, I recorded Real World, like, third. Stamp of approval, the you ain't on mixtape. Like we did like like alright, so we did early morning shift, you ain't on mixtape, real world west over one. Uh what's the other one? You got hella body of work. Gangsta shit. Like I like I did like two or three mixtapes with live wire. And then I did like four mixtapes of my own before we dropped On Behalf of the Streets, which was the debut album. But we recorded On Behalf of the Streets first. So we did the album and just had that motherfucker sitting there and just did all this other shit before it to hype it up. Yeah.